All right, Gadgetarians, welcome back. As we were talking about before, we're going to go through my studio settings. Don't mind my mess of a bedroom in the back. I've got a lot to do yet to get it cleaned up. So anyway, this will be another handheld. I do apologize, apologize if it's a little shaky, but let's go ahead and switch the camera. Um, this may be a familiar backdrop to you, although I doubt you saw that high up. Um, this is the shelving that I use for a typical backdrop and any videos I shoot really will have that in there. Now down here is my Windows 98, Windows 3.1 and DOS and I've got it running right here on this particular monitor. Now what I do to do that is way back here in the corner i don't know if you can see it it says vic something vic silo some of the names of this equipment just cracks me up but anyway that particular piece of equipment uh changes vga to hdmi which is important because the next piece of equipment we go into is actually an hdmi to usb capture device which goes right into the computer. So the screen that you're seeing right here is actually from my capture device. So it's actually coming from my modern computer, which is the next piece of equipment, which we have right here. And this is a Ryzen 2700X. I think we talked about it before. Let's get a money shot. Now, you may hear the sound of a fan in the background. The Windows 98, Windows 3.1 computer, um, on the video card, it has a bad fan. Now, I ordered two new ones, but I wasn't healthy enough to put it in. And I'm going to put it in shortly here because it sounds absolutely terrible. I bought two of them. Um, the yellow mouse, which is supposed to be white right there, cream-colored, is actually for the Windows 98 3.1 computer. This is a daylight bulb that I use in my lamp sometimes. And over here I've got a wireless keyboard my son gave me. I have a camera that doesn't normally sit there. Um, that's my GoPro 7. And let's see. Hello. Got my monitor there set up. Um, I'm running... Sounds like my dog's bath just got done. I'm running uh, OBS, of course, doing some testing. That's the camera that I'm going to use OBS with. It's a 4K camera, and it works quite well. Microphone is a blue microphone with a filter to make it sound just a hair better. Now, the things that are making room a little tight here are this piece of equipment uh, it looks useless probably to you but this is probably one of the more important tools I have in my arsenal for heart failure if I feel strange but not strange enough to go to the hospital I pick up this puck I call it a puck looks like a mouse doesn't it and I put it up to my chest like so and then it will read the information that's stored in the computer inside my internal cardiac device. And there in the background is the new addition to my equipment. Um, I have four batteries there. Uh, two are charging, two are already charged. And I need to do maintenance on this device, so I have to clean every nook and cranny of it. You'll see the batteries are coming out from the top. I really wish they hadn't done that. I wish it was coming out from the side because this is a very dusty room and it does cause problems with dust collection. So it has to be cleaned every Monday. We call it Maintenance Monday. So here's my regular lamp that I use during the day. There's one of my studio lamps. I got a couple going right now. Um, have I missed anything? I don't think so. This is a tight fit, that's for sure. So if I sit here, let's move in on the camera. 
Um, here on OBS, the one thing I don't really like is part of my face is shadowed. I guess it's okay. I'll live with it. Um, I really don't have much of a choice. The equipment has to be here because it's plugged into a special 20 amp circuit that we had to have put in so that the device, battery charger, and my device <clears throat> here in my bag... There's the little computer. So I have to plug into power at night, of course. And I really don't want to have a problem when I'm plugged into AC. I'm sure you know why. It's just uh, if the power drops lower than what's recommended, then there is going to be a problem, and I'd have to switch back to batteries. And then basically we'd know the circuit isn't good enough, um, and we'd have to switch back. Dogs getting washed. Exciting day today. So that's about it in a nutshell. I've, I've got my entire uh, studio in the space of 10 by 10, 8 by 8, not 10 by 10. Let's go with 5 by 5. Um, it works. You know, I don't really want to go into another room because I don't want to set all this stuff up. I'm still healing, so probably not a good idea of dragging all this stuff into another room. We really don't have a room anyway. There's, uh, each one is taken up, so. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed this short video, and the next time I see you will be in an official Fast Gadgets video.